Hello, Nub Hill Nuggets. This is Miss Sanchez. We're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. As some of you know, I am Hispanic. I'm, I come from a Hispanic country. I come from Venezuela. Venezuela is a small country in the top of South America. The shape is shaped like a rhino. Um, in Venezuela, we have a lot of costumes that I could share with you, but I'm going to share one this morning. Um, we love eating something called arepas. Arepas. Arepas are made of cornmeal. We use this to make them. You can find them in Publix. The only thing we need to make them is harina pan, salt, and water. There's four people in my family that are gonna eat, so I'm gonna measure two cups of harina pan. There's a lot of ways of making arepas, and some people in Venezuela um, put the water first, but I like doing it like this. So I put the harina pan first in the bowl and then I get some water. I'm gonna use about one and a half, close to two cups close of water. Two cups. I use about this much salt. salt. You see, it's like a little. I see. You see, you wanna mix it for me? Mix it in the water until it dissolves. And we're gonna put it in here. You wanna put it in? Yeah. And we're gonna start mixing. Um, it has to be soft and it has to look all the same. In Venezuela, there's something called abudare that we use to cook arepas. Abudare is like a big hot plank. I don't have abudare at home, but I use my sandwich maker as abudare because it's like a hot plank, so it looks the same and it works very much the same. All right, so after the dough looks like this, we're gonna get little parts and we're going to make it into a bowl with okay. your hands. So you keep your hands moist. Because as soon as they get dry, you dry out the dough. Once you have the bowl, you start pushing it down so it looks like an arepita. This is Sandy's first time. Good job, and now you're gonna push down. Good job, that's really good. This is already hot, the plank is already hot. This is Sammy, he's in third grade, he's also a nugget. It's like Play-Doh, right? Good job. You're gonna make it a tool bowl and then you're gonna push it in. Dang. Look, Sammy did a good one. That's a good one, Sammy, good job. So for them to cook at the same time, I go like this. Ah, nice sound. It takes about 20 minutes to get them ready. There's a lot of way to cook them. As I said, you can even fry them and frying them is quicker but just to try to make them a little healthier, we do it like this with a plank, and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for them to be ready. In Venezuela, you can eat arepas with so many things. People put everything on them. They put beef, we call it carne mechada. We put a mix of avocado with chicken, and that one we call reina pepiada. You can put anything in an arepa. It could be a whole meal, you can eat it for dinner, or like this with eggs for breakfast. Our arepitas are ready. Um, the way to know that they are ready, if you have to hold them and hit them like this. You see that how they sound like they're a drum? Ton, 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 ton. That means that the water has evaporated and they're cooked through. So for breakfast in my house, we have eggs, cheddar cheese that is shredded. This is queso blanco. This queso right here. It's just white cheese. And then we put, um, obviously, the arepas and um, butter. I'm actually not the only one from Venezuela in our school. There's a few students in our school that are from Venezuela and I am sure they've also eaten arepas with harina pan. So if that's one of you, raise your hand. Is that one of you? Have you eaten arepas? <laughs> All right, that's how we make arepas in my house. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good week, bye.